Hey everyone, what I have here is the Microsoft Surface Arc Mouse. This is quite a sexy little mouse. It's ideal for traveling because it folds up and it's kind of expensive for what it is in some ways. I bought this for £59 this morning, got it delivered tonight by Amazon. It's a little bit cheaper in some other colors, but I went for this one because it matches the Surface Pen and the Surface Keyboard that I've got. Um, it's about $45 in the USA at the moment, which is quite good. If you go to Amazon.com, you'll see it's about $45. On the back here it says you get two AAA batteries. Some people prefer to use physical batteries. I would have preferred the rechargeable battery, if I'm honest. Which is what is in my other mouse. This is the Logitech MX Master. This is a fantastic mouse, I absolutely love this. And it allows you to assign to three different devices. And I've got my HP laptop, my Android tablet and my Surface Pro. The problem with this, it's not a major problem, but it is a little bit of a problem. The problem with this is when I put this into my bag for the Surface Pro, it kind of bulks it up. There's not a lot of room in that bag. It's quite a slim line bag, and this is quite a bulky little mouse. Not by my standards, but um, there are smaller versions out there. So I've got this one. Matches the grey of my pen and the grey of my keyboard, and I'm hoping that yeah, I'm hoping that it's going to be a nice little mouse. Just want to show you one of the main selling points of this uh, mouse here, the Surface Arc mouse. So this is a website. It's saying $80 here for uh, on the, the Microsoft USA website. But yeah, as I said, check Amazon.com. It's got a video here and this shows you kind of the main selling point. See how it's folded up there? That is one of the best selling points of this. Um, it's, it's kind of a, a simple mouse in many ways as far as the design, as far as not having many buttons, which kind of suits me. But the idea is that when you flip this up, it turns on. When you flip it back down, it turns off. So I really do like the, the, the concept behind it. You are paying that Microsoft Surface Premium, but yeah, I think it looks good. So I've got the Platinum version, but you can also get it in Burgundy, Light Grey and Cobalt Blue. All looks good. Okay, time to get this open. So here we have the mouse. And wow, wow, this thing is so slim. This is, yeah, I can see where the premium is for this. This is a gorgeous little device. It's so light and yeah, it just looks fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. You can see there's a Bluetooth, Bluetooth button there. And then we're going to have the section here for batteries. The batteries seem to be in already, which is not usually what happens, if I'm honest. And um, just to kind of compare the sizes, this is the MX Master. And this is actually smaller than other mice. This is like the mouse I'm using right now for this recording. And that's a little bit bigger than this one. The MX Master is smaller. And I mean, look at the difference. You can see why this one is favored by many people for traveling. set them side by side maybe get a better idea so I've not looked at the instructions yet but I just want to do this that's how it works it's quite a nice little mechanism it's a click you should be able to hear that so I believe that's on when I do that but I will obviously have to connect to my Surface Pro okay let's see what else is in this box We've got a kind of quick start guide here. Pair your mouse on the bottom of the mouse, press and hold the Bluetooth button. Tap Arc Mouse, press pair. And it's the same. And then you've got all the kind of warranty terms of conditions type of thing. I don't think there's anything else in the box here. That's all just for, you know, for holding the mouse in place. So yeah, as far as the unboxing goes, you get the mouse, you get a tiny little instruction manual that just tells you to hold in the Bluetooth button. And then you get this. English, German, French, Dutch. Yeah, so really just the mouse, let's be honest. So what I'm going to do at this point is connect it to my Surface Pro. So I have just connected the Surface Arc mouse. It wasn't actually connecting at first. 
And the reason being, I hadn't taken this out. The battery wasn't sitting in place because I hadn't taken that little kind of piece of paper out. Um, so it says it is connected and it is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just zoom out a little bit. You'll see everything here. Um, so a little bit reflective here. I apologize that with the lights, etc. But I'm going to use my mouse now. Left click. And yeah, you know, you can see it is working there. So, obviously, time, you know, always changes opinion with tech items. I could always, I could have did a video about this three months down the line and told you, you know, told you what I liked, told you what I didn't like. Um, this is a first impressions in many respects, but yeah, I mean, it's working. It's quite a simple one, you know. As I was saying with the the MX Master, this has uh, got a lot of configuration options. You've got the scroll wheel, you've got buttons there, you've got buttons at the side there. Can be connected to three different devices and all that. This is relatively simple. You've got the Bluetooth button and you've got a left and a right click. So you can see right click there, left click, left click, right click. So yeah, it works really well. Um, you know, whenever I change from one mouse to another, it, it takes a little while to get uh, to get used to it. This one, I'll be honest with you, this one, the Logitech MX Master, this is better for a daily driver. If you're not wor wor uh, worrying about portability, about traveling with anything, I would say that this is a better mouse. You know, just first impressions, this is a better mouse. It feels more comfortable in the hand, more natural position for your hand. This one is, yeah, it's just not as good. You, you know, you kind of need to use it a little bit lighter. But what I will say is that it's not fair to compare the Arc mouse to, you know, other mice such as these because this really is designed for traveling. And I've used a lot of travel mice before, three or four in the past by Microsoft themselves, and I, I really didn't like them. They were too small. This is small, but it should be okay. Now, as I was saying earlier, one of the coolest things about this is the fact that it does this. So you probably saw that there. Obviously nothing moving around now. I'm going to snap it back into place. And the light comes on. To me, that is such a simple concept in many ways, but it is fantastic. This is exactly what I want from a mouse. I don't have to push any buttons on the back. I don't have to do anything. When I'm using it, I'm just going to be, you know, left click, right click, as you do. And then when I'm finished, it's like that. And that is what I wanted because that is going to take up very little room in the bag. So that is exactly what I was paying for. And I've got some other accessories for the Surface Pro as well, like hard drives and different things. But everything that I'm buying, I'm trying to buy things that are light, buying things that are portable. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. There's no point lying to you. I do think that for the price, this is in many respects quite expensive for what you get because you're not really getting a mouse that's you know got lots of options lots of different buttons you've got a left uh, mouse button you've got a right mouse button but what you're paying for really is the fact that you're buying something that's which is light which is easy to travel uh, with and it looks fantastic so yes i paid a lot more than other mice on the market but um i must admit i'm quite pleased with it so i'm away next week in a conference i will be spending more time with this, so we're using it every day, really. And what I'm hoping to do is, really this is going to be my go-to mouse for the Surface Pro now. And yeah, there it is. Can I recommend this? If it's your daily driver, if you're at home, if you're not doing a lot of traveling, I would probably go for something like this. If you're traveling a lot, if you're going to coffee shops, if you don't want to carry around a big bulky mouse, this is the kind of mouse that you might be looking at. And yes, it is expensive, but it's sexy, it's light, and it's very easy to use. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do check out the official website and the Amazon listing to find out more about this. But I would say that first impressions of this are positive, and it looks like a great little mouse, despite being a little bit expensive. Until next time, guys, take care.